This episode of the Pregame Podcast is sponsored by Crane Financial. Crane Financial is a 100% virtual tax service. The process is simple, stress-free, and secure. Signing up is easy. Just text all caps CRANE TAX. That's C R A N E T A X to 85100. Once again, just text all caps CRANE TAX C R A N E T A X to 85100. Respond yes to receive a link to the secure client portal where you can upload your tax documents and relevant tax information. Use the referral code PREGAME. Support our community by filing your taxes with Crane Financial. Next! All right, season for episode 24, man. We got two great guests, great guests in the building with us, man. Round of applause, man. Round of applause. Kobe yeah. For sure, man. Shout out to Kobe. Rest in power. Rest in legend. Always. Yep. Arguably the GOAT, in my opinion, my GOAT. If Brown win this one, if Brown win this one, that's my GOAT. Okay. You said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, if he no. beat this, if he beat these Nets, we gotta sit yeah. down. Talk a real, he a real Laker fan for that's real. That's my goat. If he wins this, you know what I'm saying? It's early on. on. We'll get to it though. Yeah, it's yeah, early for on. sure. No, nah, we're not gonna lie. But go ahead. I'll let you I was gonna say I ain't gonna lie. If he beat them, he is nice because he beat that Warriors team. So I don't know. What about they just beat him last night without him? They did. 25. Kyrie Irving was ejected though. You gotta honor that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried. In playoffs, it's a different thing. It is definitely different for sure. For sure. Like, one thing that translates is the defense gonna translate. Yeah. Like, yeah, our defense is like worth another superstar player. Like we got a real strap. Hey, Dude, it's a nice bro. watch oh, for sure. North oh. of the wall. I wish my team was still good. It's okay. Hey, he just scored fifty. That's all you. That's what you want, baby. It's weird, Boston. 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 King. Yeah. Hey, Boston is so weird because I really do like Boston. They got so many weapons, but it's like why? Why y'all in A? Why y'all losing to these teams? Fire like, Brad Stevens. Fire him. Brad and Danny. Fuck both them niggas. For sure. Definitely fire Danny, for sure. Yeah, Danny, when he ain't take that mouth shot, I wanted to fight that nigga. Hey, man. <laughs> He's an asset. Don't worry about that. All right, man, listen, look. Shout out to Devin Hollis for coming through. Scoot up. Oh, Crane Financial. Scoot up for us, Devin, yeah. man. Uh, shout out to y'all. First of all, where can everybody find you all? Make sure people uh, know where they can find Devin. Make first, sure people know where they can find Hollis. Uh, you can find me on all platforms at King Bonaparte. Um, Damn, that's you. That's yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah I ain't set up my Twitch yet, but okay. I usually just put like a lot of it like on Twitter. I put a lot of it on YouTube. Got you. My little brother and my man's niggas on Twitch heavy right now. Oh, Twitch yeah, is yeah. Really Twitch is what's that? You be on the war zone. I, I don't be Are on you? war zone, but I do be on the duty. The okay. Call of Duty, Cold War, heavy. Okay. Um, Right now, I'm messing with this uh Heart for Dead or something like that. But it's I've heard dope. of it, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard. But other than that, man, yeah. Yeah, um, we you can also to. hit me up. I'm always on Instagram, so that's the main platform. You can hit me up. Mm-hmm. Uh, my emails too is King. I mean Devon D Bonaparte Gmail, um, and that's it. Yeah. See, I'm about to get, we're getting your phone numbers too. Shit. <laughs> nah, 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 <laughs> nah, nah, Email. Hey, I, I always want to get the email. Yeah, I be wanting to get people my email because when I be wanting to do business, I put in my bio. You know, hit me in my emails, but. Mm-hmm. Nobody, Nobody do that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. always right. DM you. So lazy. We different. Yeah, it's different for generation. Sure. <laughs> Niggas really swear a DM is an right. email for sure. Bro, I spent yep. so much money to set up communication platforms so people can contact the business, but my phone still rings yes. every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. It's very frustrating. <laughs> so much. Yeah. I was like, I was, I was like, just calling, mm-hmm. trying to tap in with you. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna send you the link. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. Actually, yeah. Text this number. Uh, what's the what's the, what's the crane joint? Yeah. Text. Tax to this and then yeah. you know, I got tax to 85 100. We still got six weeks left, you know what I'm saying? Man, shout out to Crane Financial, man. Yeah. Crane shout Financial out. building, man. Right on, man. For uh, sure. You can find me at Crane CEO on Instagram, Crane CEO one on Twitter. Uh, if you want to contact me to get your taxes done, text Crane Tax to 85 100 or go to cranefinancial.org. Please do not contact me directly. It's too many people I cannot keep up. He, he's a legend, basically. Listen, not stop really. playing with Hollis, yeah. man. He got <laughs> yeah. rewards, nigga. It's not that anymore. He's guys. everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
It's not that anymore. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's not like, oh, what's what's Hollis on? Let me probably not personally get touched. Nah, bro. You got somebody (laughs) to do that. You got two phones, for sure. Uh, The three. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) We can do the three or three. He's big, Kevin Gates. When when he moved to Cali, I was like, yeah, this is just, he hitting different this time. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Hollis Saint. I see it from the start. Hollis Saint. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Back in the hood. For sure. (laughs) Definitely Hollis Saint. That's funny. Indeed. Y'all silly. Um, <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> hey T, how long you been playing? How me? long you been playing me? Oh, All right, man, listen, you ain't seen the episode yet. No, I gotta catch up, man. Sorry, oh, it really oh, hurts yeah. me. Hollis. No, y'all good. I know what's gonna happen. It hurts to see these niggas just fucking fuck up the community, moving these goddamn drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah I really want right. somebody put a bullet in that nigga head. To be quite honest with you, they put it in his back first. <laughs> yeah, they put one in his back first. They did. I was yeah. on that wave too, Hollis. Yeah, it really fucks me up sometimes. I feel it. Then the entertainment value for me, I just said, oh, wow, yeah. this is fire. Oh damn, I, I'm cool with everybody else dying, but Franklin. Damn. <laughs> I don't want Franklin. Yeah, Hollis. But nah, he's got a point though. But listen, with that being said, you know what I'm saying. Y'all here, y'all have a business y'all want to go ahead and speak on and make sure yeah. you understand and know what's it all about and what's the business? Um, right now, we promote these jars and we promote grinders too. So okay. basically, it's ABB, a better brand. Um, the jar basically holds up to, I say, about a half. You definitely um, have 14. Yeah, right. but oh, half, y'all coming straight from half. Cali. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> so you know, like usually when you get like some weed. Say like you buy it off the street or somebody. Or somebody no, nah, you know it's legal in a lot of states. So like Illinois, if you buy it from a dispensary, dispensary, yes. yeah, yeah, or <laughs> yep, I say a dispensary. Let's yeah. keep it legal. Um, and I say sometimes it be kind of dry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you can always put something in this and Just put, put the weed nice in it. And... Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Put like yeah, some yeah, bread, a little trick, or something <laughs> like that. Right. They also got these like uh pottery little coins that we're thinking about investing in too that we're gonna make and we're gonna put it up in there yeah so to make basically make your weed way fresher and probably like keep it in there for like five minutes yeah, keep and the then smell, make it right back okay. all the way locked down. this is the this is the damn dash episode this is yeah, 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 yeah 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 okay yeah, yeah. i have a job please don't yell at me i got a job too but i got a nine to go. five please don't talk to me down about the nine to five nah, i like yeah. my nine to five <laughs> we respect the nine to five hustle this too. is this makes it speak you as hell i don't know what this crazy no i never that never crossed my mind that was the whole point that was the whole point that looked like and it's like somebody put on you your know, table at your probate. That's right. What yeah, that's the whole yeah. point. So you know, you let's say, like for example, Fred, you got kids. You know, what I'm saying maybe you want to you know, partake in a little bit of cannabis, mm-hmm. but you don't want your kids to know that's what it is. You put it in that. That's they have no idea. And they don't know what's happening. Exactly. That's so crazy. How does it do with the smell? For sure. You, go, you didn't smell it until you, you open that up. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's been here all the time. He's screaming at you in there. Yeah, it's yelling. Is this wood? No, that's actually 3D printed. So. Uh, wow! Wow! Uh, we work with a company shit. called Diamond 3D Printing. It's got Steve Douglas, Keith Moore. They both from uh, Purdue. Those sound like black men. They yeah. are black men. Yeah. Let's so they're, they're uh, one of my clients through Crane Financial, and they told me they was 3D printing stuff, and they actually have like confectioner type grinders and stuff. So like maybe an Oreo thing grinder. Mm-hmm. Shout out to y'all for this man. Grinder. And I was like, man, you know, we been me and my friends. So ABB is a group of our friends. You know, it stands for oh, damn, okay. just a, a better okay. brand, but like a brother's bond, a lot of different things. You know? Wow. Okay. But yep. the seven of us, and uh, we always, you know, that's something that's kind of like. We wanted to do is like just little small products in terms of like the cannabis industry. So I was watching TV, um, it's top of the year, and they were saying the state of Illinois make two billion dollars off the cannabis industry in the Easy. first year during yep. the pandemic. Right. So I was like, oh shit, we need our part. So right. Talk to them, like man, how can we like wholesale this if we want to do our own stuff? You know what I mean? Just brand it. And I'm sorry, I should have brought the grinders for y'all too. Hmm. But you know, we put together these containers and these grinders, and we were dropping on 420. That's you know crazy, man. Wow. This is, I need yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to y'all for that. Let's get a round of applause. Yeah. For that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, I think it's important. It's definitely important for black people. Obviously, it's. It's driven for the white people to succeed in the cannabis industry. Right. And it's tough. They're not letting, fault, they're gatekeeping. Family. They're not letting black people in. And yeah. I, it's definitely important for y'all and others to get in there. To make a way. And get that, get that money first and foremost. 100%. But show people that y'all can do it. That but we can do it. It's also a tie because it's a pivot. It's not like y'all trying to beat down the weed doors. Mm-hmm. Y'all like, well, there's other ways to make money off of this. Boom. Right. Let's, what else can we do besides spend whatever it takes to get into the actual growing industry? Exactly. What's the right. side shit we could do to make money off of? And that's it. It's right. innovative exactly. as hell, man. Exactly. Um, and I want to talk to y'all's bond, you know what I mean, as a group of friends. I feel like we, 
We've all been in them group chats and the yeah. group meetings and them Slack chats. We should do this, y'all. Yeah. And then a month go by and it's like nothing. shit, not for nothing. We've right. been in those situations uh, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we just so listen, yeah. I want to really, you know, really talk to the people about how y'all were able to to continue to stay to stay familiar yeah. and make sure y'all saw this thing through. Because now y'all actually took an idea, it's y'all tangible. had a product. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's in your hands. So just walk people through Let's that process, that again, man. Let me hold that real quick. Uh, I mean. Well, so we started in what, 2008 is when we kind of all came together in high school. Uh, uh, yeah, but I say 2008. And then, so when we, you know, we knew a, we knew a different side of the same industry, you know what I'm saying, uh, in a different in different capacity. But in learning that, we kind of was learning business, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So uh, me and Devin, Rodney, uh, we had said, because we was the main ones in Indianapolis at the time, right. you know, uh, we were sitting around talking like there's different things we can do. Uh, bouncing ideas off each other. This bro said he's going to become a model. You know, so I said I was almost going to start a financial services well, firm. First, it was the concert, concerts. Yeah, doing the concerts and yep. stuff. Like we was really just throwing, throwing stuff at the wall, trying to figure out what we can do. So we was like, all right, we gonna start like a clothing line, and you know, like everybody else, got logos so made and shit, and did line. literally absolutely nothing. <laughs> bro, exactly, right, 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 right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we might have had a party, it was a fight, the shit just went bad. Yeah, we like, oh yeah. man, fuck this. But I mean, I kind of leaned into my stuff. Bonaparte leaned into his. Everybody leaned into what they lane already was. Mm-hmm. We always was different guys. Like we all got our own different personal interests. And then now, in just terms of uh, having more experience and running business and being uh, involved. From that standpoint, it's like, all right, we can give it another try, and it ain't got to be something that's big. Like, you know, we're adults now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. so much easier, bro. Yeah, it's so much now. easier just to go about business th- this way and having them. We ain't broke, no right? Money either. Exactly. So it's like, we I'm ain't sure got to pull we it. We definitely up. understand. I was going to say broke. too. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to tell the people again, that ain't me. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Because when we me. first started off, too, uh, everybody, well, I was at the time. I was just getting on my feet and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but and then Hollis was. Um, what just graduated? Too, I had just about? graduated. Yeah. yeah, and he was talking about shit. He ain't want to work no more, and I'm like, shit, I don't want to work no more. I was working that fucking Panera Bread doing dishes, bro. Yeah. So I'm like, man, fuck all this. Big grind. Find a new way. Grind. I stayed at the crib. We brainstormed, and I was like, what could I do that I want to actually? I could travel. Right. I <clears> love <throat> it. Actually, like to wake up doing this shit, mm-hmm. and I can meet exclusive people. So I'm like, shit, I'm gonna throw. Only makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. Why these colors, man? So you know, I feel like you know every product always has a story. Why did I decide to roll with this? You know, what I the mean, kinda, you know, the rose. Oh, we got a bunch of different yeah. colors. Yeah, I got bunch of different I can show y'all pictures on my phone. We got a bunch, but right, you know, I just like fly shit. You know, what I'm saying I've been on my my pastel color shit for the last couple. And this could be like yeah. some for uh, like the girls too. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm you know, if they want to rock with it too, because you got a lot of girls out there too that like to smoke weed. They do. They do. So a lot of them. big chief. Yes. I fuck with it. Right. Shout out to the ladies for sure, man. <laughs> Where can everybody find y'all right now to make sure that you can we can tap in with a better brand? Oh, um, right and we now. actually got an Instagram page okay. created. Um, it's right. called a this better up. brand. Sure. Um, actually, it's phone too. It's ABV a better brand underscore ABV okay. underscore a better brand. And so far, we're gonna have to put we're gonna upload the pictures. We still get some of them edited yeah. and stuff. Yeah, uh, I'm showing Fred everything we got from our love product through, shows. But we do have the page active. Just the grinder. And everything. Yep. And okay. then so once we, we have the pictures and stuff, then we're going to announce it all on the uh, launch date. Yeah, fall 20. We yep. just be ready. Fall 20. Man, man. Salute, salute to y'all, man. Perfect timing as well. Yeah. Um. So what? I know we got the grind, so we got this. You know, as, as y'all think about more ideas throughout mm-hmm. the year, what's one thing? Or what uh, will, will this turn into vape pens? What are we looking at just as far as just uh, the year honest, the trajectory? Me personally, I want us to do whatever it is. Like I said, we all different guys, and we all got different interests. Right. So I don't want it to limit it to just the cannabis products. This was just the first thing. You yeah. know Understood. I mean? Okay. But I want to take yeah. it to just like how raw it is. Like, they got trays. They got... Uh, paper wraps, yep. they got Damn, lighters. Okay. I, why we can't do that? Yeah, we can you do everything. No, that's real. So, uh, so that's yeah. that's the vision I want to see. I always start to fire. go from the top. Thank so, you. you know People even been reaching out to me like when I was just be posting this, they be like, "Damn, y'all making candles now? Shit, we can. You, you can. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you know can. Wax and exactly. be straight. Exactly. We'll take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no I, issue. It's not like y'all have a crazy. I mean, the 3D printing, like that's you know what I'm saying. Y'all have a way in that most people don't have. Yep. I'm gonna ask you about that when this is over with. Oh no, for sure I can plug you in with them guys. Yeah, uh, we going on. You going on? We good, have good we brothers. have ideas too. You know, yeah, they actually don't live far. They got all the whole little three D set up right in the same little area you in, bro. These mm. choices are great. They are. Thanks, man. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. These, are, these hey. are very fire product shops. Yeah. I like the um, 
the white, green, and gold one yeah. for the yes. grinders. Yeah, yeah. That, that one hard. Y'all like y'all Don Juan shit over there. Uh, green got, for the money, gold the for the honey. Young lady about to roll up. That's, that's <laughs> yes. that draw me in like. Oh, she about to, uh, <laughs> got yeah. I wish I could have brought a grinder. The grinders grinder look crazy, too. Uh, you're going to be available to purchase on 420 2021. Mm-hmm. Oh, Make sure y'all cop that, man. Yeah, be that's very real. Hey, All links will be Etsy. active. We're going to be right on Etsy. With got you, got you, got you. This is fire. I don't know whose phone it is. This, this is mine. This, honestly, I, one this, of this, phones. this entire thing has been a pivot for me. I didn't see any of this coming. Yeah, not at all, bro. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's crazy, though. So, like, with that being said, I know how you just recently, you recently tweeted about scaling the business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, you, you got the, you get the business going. How do we grow? How do we grow a better brand? How do we grow Brothers Bond? You know what I mean? Moving forward um, after y'all do the drop. First thing you got to do is define roles, right? You got to define what everybody's role is and what's the capacity they're going to be functioning in that role, right? That's the number one. Then number two, you got to define every process. So from start to finish, what in your role or in the company as a whole, how does each process work? How does it work for somebody to purchase a product from you? How does it work for you to ship a product to somebody? How does it work to go from just being this as a blank canvas and getting it painted, right? How does all those processes work? Once you define those and you have defined roles, then you can start building out a team and scale. This business, we got seven people that we already got access to to pitch in and help do stuff, which is good, but it's also hard because that's seven different yeah. opinions you got to bounce off. 100%. Man, I don't exactly. like them letters, bro. Is there a way we could like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Make sure you do a script instead. Varsity, you know. You feel me? Yeah, like, man. and it's like, it's really hard. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Impossible almost. It's definitely impossible because yeah, right. you're never going to be on the same page with everybody with everything. But we try to keep in mind, like, you know, this ain't got to be it. If you want another idea, go ahead and present that to the group. Let's do it. What, what we got to lose? You know, That's right. It's facts. For sure. What we got to lose. But in terms of, like, scaling Crane Financial, that shit is a monster. Like, that's, like, my full-time job right now, trying to figure out how to take myself out the business and let it run without me. Because <coughs> essentially it works because of, of me. You know what I'm saying? People mm-hmm. want to deal with me, which is cool, but we got to find a way as we've grown to, like, appease everybody. Because it's only one of me. I can't yeah. Need everything. a new crane almost. Right. Yeah. 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 I can't do everything all the time for everybody. Like, especially if we talk about taxes, which is a four-month window. Like, if this was something that was going on throughout the whole year, possibly. But even then, like, I don't know if I want to be this busy all year. You know, the money's right. good, but right. <laughs> peace of mind sucks. You know right, 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 right. So, uh, One life balance is struggling right now. Right. So it's, it's terrible. So really just trying to figure out, like saying, define every process which I have done. But now I got to find the right people to put in place in order to grow. So we got people that's been working with us in terms of being tax preparers from the last two or three years. So we're like, all right, now we don't need to be prepared. Y'all don't need to be looking at that. How did you run the tax office so we can expand in different areas and different cities? Oh, so I was going to ask you, you definitely, you definitely listed, I think, four to five cities. Yeah. I want to I know Indy was definitely one of them. Oh, for sure. You yeah, know, LA like on there, place. I think. Uh, yep. Did Phoenix, you? Atlanta, Dallas. So, really, when I be traveling, I be going trying to figure out how I can make my moves work there. You know what right, I'm saying? Like, right. when, when it, how could I make what I do? It's make not sense just fun and short shorts and, you yeah, know, beaches and yeah, shit like You that. know? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's really busy trying to understand, like, or it's either, like, trying to make ideas, like, have some inspiration to have some new ideas to go do something, or trying to figure out how we can make whatever we already got going on work in that city. So, we went to Miami. It's like, all right, shit. Well, what yep. we going to do? We got to set up shop here. How is it going to work? Who can speak saying? Spanish? Yep. <laughs> Figure right, something out, you know what I'm saying? We got to plant our flag we're literally every city we, we we in because that's the only way you're going to really, like, you know, grow some wealth. Like, I can't keep digging out of my own community time and time again, which, you know, which has been fruitful. Right. But it's still like you want to expand and you got a vision of expanding. You just got to figure out how to make that shit happen. People struggle with that because they swear to God that, like, every every little small, little get rich quick scheme, it's always like you got to manipulate your circle. And people yeah. think that's really how they're going to make it. Like, yeah, really no, dumb, man. man. Like, mm-hmm. I got all my followers and all my, my stuff by traveling. Right. Like, Getting outside like, of your circle. Yeah, yeah, I had to. Like, I'm Pittsburgh, Chicago. And St. Louis, I went to the little Midwest hubs first. Yeah, mm-hmm. even with us, our favorite thing, like when we release, when we release shit, we'll look like we love when our, our family buy shit, our friends buy shit. Yeah. We looking for like the outliers, like right. oh mm-hmm. shit, somebody bought some shit in Washington. Who was that? Exactly. Because I mean, exactly. shit, if, you, if it's just your like, niggas be mad at me because I got six bottles of Mike Gillis wine. They like, I wanted one, <laughs> bro, but I, I bought them in three different yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. I bought I two bottles yeah. in three different times. I'm gonna get the white, saying? but it's like I ain't do. I'm sure he don't want me to have all the bottles of wine, you know what right. I'm saying? Because he want his shit to grow and expand and touch everybody else's stuff, you know, all over. And it's hard, but it's like, shit, I still want that shit too, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Right. I ain't get no yeah, extra early weird. access to it. But that's I'm when you're winning though. When your yeah. people want it and you got outsiders that want it, yeah. you really own. You ain't got to like, people be trying to rain their people dry. 
ball. Yeah, to get on. you feel me? And I really don't want to ring my community dry at all. Like even with all the we we ain't got get into the all like the love. It's a lot of scamming shit going on right yeah, now. Yeah, PPP you know, ain't so, no game. It's a lot of, but I'm not really scammers trying to tap man. in with everybody in the community because it's like I don't want to put you in no fucked up situation. Right. And also, I'm not a scammer. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Right. Number one, right. I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have y'all question, ask y'all a question real quick? So, like, oh, yeah. who who inspires y'all the most? You know, because I, mean? I really feel like Hollis and you as well, y'all both already have one business. You already have something that you're already working on that takes a lot of creativity yeah. and passion and drive. Now we're figuring out we got more time in the day that we spend on working on something else. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what keeps y'all inspired? What keeps you all hungry to see this as, you know, be, become successful? Well, shit. This nigga definitely inspired me, seeing how he came from when he got out of this situation, when it was at Panera, and nigga told me he was going to be a model. I'm looking like, okay. And really went and did that shit. You know what I'm saying? And made a, make a livelihood off that shit. I got a Rockefeller tattoo earlier this week. I'm inspired by them niggas. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you pull it from everywhere, but we really used to be sitting at home studying that shit. Bro, I, I'm a, honestly, he inspired me. I got out of jail, and he told me I could come stay with him. My man, D, him and DJ, uh, get there. Next thing you know, I'm just saying he got this whole setup. He got a car. He got cash. He pulling out money. I'm just like, hold on now. Hell, he's <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, a lot of tax returns. It was a lot of tax returns. Yeah, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? But I'm looking like, hell, you know, he's he did it without, he did it without a beard, too. Yeah, he younger than yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, he younger than me. So, you know, I, I supposed to be doing this, too. You know, I could be out here doing this, too. So I just was like, man, I got to stop BSing and get off my feet and get on my grind. And ever since then, I start throwing concerts. And then I put that money up and put it into the modeling thing. And yeah. so, it's crazy. Yeah, Investing. Yeah, Investing in yourself, man. He taught sure. me how to like how to move money and all that stuff. Like how to actually do some of like manage my money. Because I was terrible with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, so. the brotherhood y'all supposed to was important. Because, I mean, if you didn't have him when you first got out, it could have been a whole different story oh, yeah. for you. Yeah. Now, iron sharpens iron shit is real as well. You should never take that for granted. You know what I'm saying? So, sometimes when you're around your people, you want to do better. Exactly. You know, yeah. So, I know coming in here, coming to Fred crib. Bro, you think I'm thinking saying. of trying to get a crib. Or <laughs> you start asking questions about how you make that happen. It's been what a lot, of, do a lot of Fred said today. You know what I'm saying? My fault. These two shades. But, it, but it, 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 that is what it is. It's an important part Big of crib. it, man. So right. 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 Now, now you got to guess his last name. Indeed. We on. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Where you stay? Okay. <laughs> we figuring out. Nah, that's going to be a sad, sad day. It, man, I'll be heartbroken. I'll yeah. be here crying with you. Yep. Trying to piece it all together. Yep. What they take, bro? The oh, mics is gone. Oh, shit, y'all inspire me, though. Look what y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got a whole new setup now. You know what I mean? Because big money, deuce too <laughs> you know what I'm Y'all niggas dropping Air Max Ones. Y'all got merch. You know what I'm saying? Pop-up shots. I'm like, damn. You know, how can I be down? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to learn. You Man. feel me? I ain't never sold no product before, so this is a whole new yeah. venture for for me and for us. A lot of shit I've been doing, I do it by myself. So, like I said, it's a new experience, just right. learning, getting other people's perspectives, not just saying, okay, this is what I want to do, so I'm gonna do it. You know what gotcha. I mean? Because speak to that. How do y'all come together and make decisions? You know what I'm saying? Because I know that shit can't be easy. It's not. So, <laughs> um. <laughs> We, we we have a creative director creative director team. So myself, uh, dudes, and DJ who is Q, we get together a lot and, and over communicate. I'll mm-hmm. be talking too much. Probably I'm probably getting on their nerves. Yeah, he, he's a mother for sure. Um, <laughs> fuck that. I'm a father. My bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we so we came across right. that table. <laughs> Voodoo Lloyd Willard almost yeah. came across the table. Nah. Right so we we try to make sure we come together and hash out ideas and meet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Often and try to see those things through. You know what I'm it's saying? It's the same convos, like you said, trying to make shit make sense or it's three different voices. So what should we do? We should do this instead. We try to keep it a democracy. Like, all right, well, we should do this. What you think? Two, all right, two versus one. Sorry, bro. Yeah, Maybe next it is time. What it is. Yeah, but I think the biggest thing is evolution. And I feel like with Crane Financial, I feel like even with a, a, a better brand, evolution. How do we get better? What's going to be right. different this season? What's going to be different the next month? You know right. what I mean? Because mm-hmm. content gets stale. Mm-hmm. Content gets stale. You, you, you do you sit around and do the exact same thing. So even this, I feel like one thing that you do a great job of, and I think y'all doing an amazing job already, is awareness. Mm-hmm. All this is awareness. We live in the awareness era, I feel like, in social media. So the fact that we had a new setup, we could take pictures of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We can we can continue to scale that and bring more energy and more eyes onto mm-hmm. the show, onto the podcast. Posting that podcast flyer is really cool. That's not gonna really But it don't move it. It don't now. move the needle. But all the extra stuff does, like the bless the mic, the rough and re. It'll move right. that needle a little bit more to make somebody come back 
to want to listen to the show. Mm. You know what I'm saying? at the end yeah, of the day, yeah, yeah. everybody that messes with us does not listen to the show. No. That, that's what it's going to be. The show's the hardest sell. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. it is the hardest sell for sure. People like our merch more than like the show. Y'all shit been hard. I ain't yeah. going to lie. You know what I'm saying? When y'all had the... Uh, the I've been shitty because I couldn't cop nothing. The, uh, uh, we, the joint... Yeah, no. Nah, if, if we could... I would definitely purchase the joints with the, uh, with the... With like the little characters. Like that. Oh, like yeah, the, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That remind me of like the little shirts from the 90s when the Bulls won the championships yeah. and shit. Yes. Mm-hmm. That, that's hard. probably our hardest piece we put out. Nah, this new shit y'all put out yeah. right there. Yeah. 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 New shit y'all just dropped was cold as hell with, uh, with Paris. I'm like, man, these niggas really doing that shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. proud. You we know we want to make sure like the pod is cool, bro, but it's the extras. It's always going to be the extras. That's how you yeah, that'll wear extras. this piece, you know man. 100%, because getting ads on the pod is one thing, but selling merch is completely it's different. different, different. Bar, man. <laughs> how can we help y'all, though, for real? Like, What can we do as a listener community, as people that, that support y'all, care about what y'all got going on, how can we help? How can we make sure y'all get to that next level? I just saw Al Harrington been going crazy in the cannabis With industry. Viola, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I, I think about all the Smoke podcasts and what they yeah. got going on. So, like, what is it that we that you need from us to kind of get you to that point where now you on that? You know, I don't know. I, I just think about these companies that in the wake of George Floyd, mm-hmm. or the, the murder of George Floyd, how terrible and, and, and shitty that situation was. It has put brought to the forefront of people's minds black businesses. Yeah. And it's created another avenue or another uh, fervor, if you will, or passion for that. Mm-hmm. So, like, what is it like for y'all? How can we help y'all get there? You want to go first? Man, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I go. Um, I'll go real quick. No, go ahead. I would say, I mean, continue doing what y'all already doing. Being yourself and, like, look at whatever thing you got on your, uh, your laptop. First thing I see is we don't run from adversity, right? Uh, being yourself, and that's that's a quality promotion to a black brand right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really, when you overhand try to do something in terms of saying, uh, hey, y'all got to shop with this person, you got to shop with that person, so a lot of times it's not going to really be received well because it's it seen forced. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the authenticity yeah. and how you support and how we support one another, even reaching out and saying, hey, you want to run some ads on our platform? Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pay whatever the rate is because that's what's important more so than just trying to get a, a – Cosign on an endorsement for somebody like you can authentic you can authentically tell I fuck with y'all you fuck with me you fuck with this brand you know what I mean so in constructive criticism share best practices let me know hey Hollis this shit ain't really nice you know what I'm saying this shit look whack if this that's how you feel that's nice though. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. That's how you I don't even smoke. I'm buying one. Appreciate yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's I put something else in there. Yeah, I put something yeah, in there. I put, some, I put something else in there. Yeah, you, I, hey, you can put your body cream in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm putting put whatever you need to in there. You know what I'm saying? Really, I'm gonna get a grinder too because really, I, I cook. You yep. really cannot. It's the smell is not. Put some combined. pepper in there. That's important. 100. percent You can do it. I'm a. I'm I had a, no I'm idea. A, I'm a mason jar nigga. I'm a mason jar. You know, yeah, yeah, niggas be, but yeah, that is, that's what I'm Yeah, some, some jars you can still <laughs> smell like, ah! like, like the mason jar, you know, that's not even fly. You got some girls come over your <laughs> crib and fly. you pull out a mason jar. <laughs> you like, damn, look at this, you know, raggedy ass nigga. You pull ass this nigga. out. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you like, trying to, oh, okay. Home decor. You know what I'm saying? like that, don't you? Yeah. I ain't never had a small nose, and it's not getting to me. You know what I'm saying? It's not in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, bro. That's crazy. That's yeah, important. That is. That's for sure. I have to say the same thing with Hollis, man. I don't really like people who just say it's a yes man. So, you know, just do y'all, man. And if you like it, you like it. You know, if you don't like it or if you don't like something about it, you think it's, we should change something, man, tell us. Yeah, let us mm-hmm. know. Let us know. Let us tell us. We want that criticism. We yeah. don't want y'all to be like, you know, telling other people, oh, yeah, it's nice, but. Nah, that ain't no Compliments thing. make you feel good. Yeah. Criticism is the way you learn. Make exactly. You yeah. That's yep. just gonna make you better. Got you. Got you. Got you. I like when I get like bad comments on my pictures and stuff. So, so that makes me better. That lets me right. know what I need to change or what I need to do. And what I need to do. Got you. What is your overall perspective, man, before we get out of here on the cannabis industry? You know what I'm saying? Y'all's thoughts. You know, we kind of grew up in an era where this is something like, oh, don't, don't say, don't tell nobody you're doing that. Yeah. Right? So now it's kind of transitioning to something that's just a lot more acceptable. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's the way that they could pay us reparations. That's the if the state of Illinois is one state in, in a global pandemic when people's money was messed up, made two million dollars. Then, yep. federally, how much money? If we just to take that same number and times it by what fifty, that's a hundred. <laughs> A hundred billion. That's literally a and easy it's, way. it's brand new money too. Brand new money. Mm-hmm. They had no idea to, they was gonna get it. Easy way to fund reparations right there. You know what I'm saying? So from a standpoint of giving us like overall easy access to get into the industry, giving us uh, opportunity to be preferred sellers to the government in the industry. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like we need all that, and then like taking the revenue from it and paying out black people in reparations. That's what I think the cannabis industry should be used for. 
Yeah, that sounded like a dope one. That was a that was a <laughs> that was a political platform. I was just about to say that. All he's missing was this motherfucker right here. Yeah, I'm dead serious. This is how I feel about it. I took it took the time over the last three or four years instead of saying like how do we like instead of saying we never gonna get reparations, trying to figure out mathematically how we definitely could. I got a few different equations I've worked out, but the way to to fund it is literally through the cabinet. Hollis for Alderman. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, wish they had, I wish they had aldermans out here. Bro. I, I, I move around too much to be an alderman, man. You got to be connected to the city. Yeah, that's yeah. what they supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Niggas love aldermans, boy. Was, hey, the alderman can do what he can cheat on his wife. Yeah, he yeah. can be small. Alderman can do whatever. Yeah, yeah. alderman doesn't run the, the drug trade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? <laughs> be everything. Block party hit every year, though. <laughs> he gonna feed y'all. Yeah, <laughs> back to school. Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna be backpacks for the kids in the Turkeys summer. Turkeys on Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the alderman. <laughs> hey, bro, bro, bro. bro. <laughs> like I said, I run if they had him out here, bro. I'd be alderman. What about you, Devin? What's up with the uh, with the weed industry? What's your what's your take on it? Um, man, it's bro. Uh, I feel like it's kind of I like it. I just. I don't know, man. I'm iffy about it because at the mm. end of the day, it still take away from, you know, I know that people don't supposed to do it illegally, but that's the only way people can survive yeah. too. So it's actually taking from money from them. Mm. From the hood. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's iffy because I'm a smoker and I like to smoke the shit. It's good shit, but mm -hmm. it's still taking away from my neighborhood drug dealer who Shit, that's how he feed his kids. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because the prices is still not the same. Shit, when I was 2013, prices used to be, you know, you could get an eight for sixty dollars, yeah, probably right. sixty five. But now you could get $30. that shit for thirty dollars, yeah. and that ain't doing nothing. Because if you buy an ounce, it's it's just it's crazy math. It's yeah. just not helping at all. You're mm -hmm. not making shit of it. The only way you can make money of it off street wise would be basically selling for nothing or for, for pounds. Yeah, that's the only way. Hmm. So yeah. it's an iffy situation. So I'm really 50 50. Yeah, with you, it. you can't get the old local drug dealer can't get in. Illinois, yeah. you got to have 100,000 just to apply. Right. <laughs> just exactly. to apply, not to, not get, to get it. Yeah, apply. That's the application fee. So it's, it's like, who got that to throw away? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it's, then you got to think about it you? too. It's nah. like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, not I was <laughs> Not to throw it's away, it, I know. And it's not refundable. No, yeah, that's not. what I'm saying. Like, like, they just keep it yeah. there. Deny as soon as yeah. they get that deposit. Deny. Exactly. It is wild to see. Like you usually like a lot of the racist shit, you feel like it's dated some, but they like, we got a brand new way this time. Yeah, brand new way to be yeah. racist, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's wild to see. Yeah, it's like, like, oh yeah, we not we're still on that. Yeah, for sure. Racist we need a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, pass the Charmander. You yeah, know for I mean? sure. But I mean if pass the business and that way don't involve, then this is another way for the your neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, cannabis individual to evolve as well. It, when we was in the neighborhood, it was always people selling switches cheaper for what the gas station got it for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's Damn. different lands you can find a way to get into I it. I need to tell these niggas out here to tap in. Niggas don't ever have no codes. Niggas, <laughs> niggas, no, niggas bro. I can tap in. Like, bro, you need to buy those and I'll buy them from you. You need an <laughs> yeah, yeah, ultra yeah. plug. Yeah, yeah, you gotta. I don't have. know, my nigga. He be at work sometimes. I'm like, damn, nigga, I thought this was your job. <laughs> <laughs> that pissed me off more than anything. He bro. try to. He, he on his nine to five hustle. That's, Why you gonna disrespect? I'm, nah, availability is big for me, man. <laughs> yeah, I, for your Yelp reviews. Yeah, yeah. If I, if I tap in with you, and I decide that you who I'm calling when I. Like yeah. damn, I expect you to. Yeah. Boy, well, I, I expect, expect you to be you know, like, hey, you, you my therapist. This time, you right. Like, you know and what sometimes it don't work out. Like, oh damn, this nigga. Sometimes I pick up the phone, like. Niggas at work. Yeah. I don't if you're listening right is, now, Ruff's though. a free agent. He's available out here. <laughs> right. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it's like a lot of people out here when it comes to, I'm going to say service-wise, it's kind of, yeah, it's just terrible, oh, man. damn. Yeah, they customer service not good. And it's terrible. Just, you don't have to lie to me. Niggas be lying like yeah, bro, just that za is it? <laughs> is it? Yeah, like is it? I don't think you know so. Yeah. Or just tell them, you know, like yeah, I'll be there, or I'm doing something. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, bro, bro, we got my, lives. I'm with my kids. What park y'all at? <laughs> 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 but, don't do don't do that. Let let the let your friendly neighborhood <laughs> cannabis <laughs> distributor uh, yeah. enjoy his time with his family. That is okay. Exactly. He sent that text before. So you see, know what I'm in the states where it's legal, when I live in Cali and then I live in Chicago. Chicago, it's a whole different conversation. Man. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like, all right, this is what we got. 
we can bring it to you around this time frame or you can meet here, here, and here. Yeah, it's like, great. They got apps and everything, man. You know what I'm uh, saying? Man. Yeah, it's like I ain't got nothing to be concerned about. I'm moving how I need to move. Yeah, shout out yeah. to the niggas that drop it off. <laughs> that boy. <laughs> Y'all think Indi- Indiana is going to be probably what the last state to legalize? They're going to they hold out as long as they can. As long as they can. They don't care. They don't care. Still okay. trying to do the tickets and stuff. They petty. Michigan, right. Illinois, they get into it. Wisconsin, probably, well, Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio are going to be the last three. Denver is still illegal. I mean, illegal, but it's still like. You can't smoke nowhere out there though. Oh no, you, you still get smoke. a fine yeah, and all that stuff. But that's stuff how they like get that. you. It depends on like where you at. So like in California, you know, like certain places you can't smoke at. You know, you can't just like you can't just be driving smoking. You know, that's like a DUI. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But you can't be at every neighborhood park smoking either because they'll take you to jail. It's right. Like, you can't be in certain certain cities, certain areas. You can't be within a hundred feet. But of you can definitely go it. cop, buy, go home, and you know, yeah, be you left alone. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, the important part. That's the important yeah. part. Yeah, yeah, that's all the extras part. you got away for that. Yeah, yeah, we can't be yeah, yeah, you yeah. over if you got it on you. you yeah, know we can't saying? be in the mall yeah. just smoking it up. Yeah, no, no. I'm just saying, like you know, what I'm saying, like if you go like in Cali, you can smoke on the balcony of some hotels. Got you. You know what I'm saying? But in Denver, you can't do that at all. They go give you a thousand dollar fine. Wow. Oh yeah. Like. I ain't got they it. They false flag. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got it. it. Are they going to extradite me back right. to Denver? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. I'm going to go grab it. Yeah, they're not, they're not about to extradite me for $1,000. I'm about to go suspend five, my yeah. license. They're they're not, not, you know, when I, send me when you see me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're not going to garnish your wages and no shit like that. Yeah. He'll let you know at the end of the year, like, hey, by the way, you had a ticket in Denver. They, they want that. Right. <laughs> so your was, refund was this, but it's this now, but it's okay. Yeah, because yeah, it's taken yeah. care State of. State of Denver, they wanted their little piece back. <laughs> uh, now, with that being said, man, shout out to a better brand. You know, what I'm saying the Brothers Bond. You know, what yeah, I mean, ABG. appreciate y'all coming through, man. Congratulations to y'all on this. Appreciate it. It's appreciate an innovative it. man. It's needed. You know, what I'm saying y'all gonna take it all the way. I'm excited. Oh yeah, we excited, oh, man. Definitely. You know, pre orders and uh, all purchases will be live on 420 2021. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll drop the links and all that good good knowledge. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But we gonna be. Most likely, the link would be in the bio or the oh, Instagram, yeah. too. Gotcha. Um, I'm working on making a Twitter page for the quick little Snapchat. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we do drop some, you can see some stuff on there, too. What's been the best for y'all, like, in terms of selling y'all product? What's been the best platform y'all use? Because we, we, right now, we think about going the Etsy route, but maybe it's a better way to do it. For that, I, I can see Etsy working for y'all, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what their pre-order platform is like, though, For that in that regards. A lot of times, we feel like the... The like the urgency of doing a pop over, people feel like they got to come to get it yeah. is important. But for this, is a little different. A little different. But yeah. if you notice, we always do a pop up, and you know we we'll also try to find a way to make sure it's available for other people as well. So mm-hmm. I, the online is, is fine. You can do a Shopify. Yeah, you feel me? And be fine. Yeah, for sure. And I don't know how these CB. Nah, I don't know how these CBD places work. I'm not sure. I haven't been to one, so I could be sound. I sound might sound very ignorant right now. But I feel like there's a lot of independent-owned CBD yeah. places in the city. I I, it might be hard to find a black-owned CBD place. No, it ain't, I know, I know a couple of them. Um, there's black-owned smoke shops too. Yeah, Got you. I know a couple of them. So, so trying to connect and collab that way is yeah. always big. You know, to yeah, have you get that on the shelf, you'd be good money. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. What's that? And you got to cut it at that point, though. It's not yeah, all yours anymore. Right. But you and know. the biggest thing about mm-hmm. pop-up shops is that it's that hand-in-hand connection. It's mm-hmm. that connecting to the individual, connect to your consumer, and keeping that going. I feel like it's way easier to sell some. When somebody's right there saying, hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? How your family? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Then it is online. So if y'all can make that happen, <laughs> y'all popular dudes, man, people going to pull up. They're going to support y'all regardless, and they'll be looking forward to the next one. Keep okay. them shits on you, too. Uh, yeah. Have oh, them in yeah. the trunk. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> for Taking real. it back to back in the trunk. <laughs> now, nah, people love saying, oh, you, oh, man, I love that. You got it on you? Like, no. 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 Uh, no nah. You think I got this. But y'all can keep, <laughs> keep a box of that motherfucker in your trunk, see what happens. Pull yeah, people cars. Sure. Okay. Oh, and I got a, you want one? I, right. I got you want one. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be one. Of, oh, oh, how much is it? The yeah, exact I mean, price it was on the internet. internet. <laughs> what you mean? Oh, okay. People That's love that. Up. Hit the cash up. <laughs> Let's get it going. <laughs> What y'all got coming uh, next? Y'all niggas gonna have a TV me. show or some shit? Man, y'all got a VH1 oh, wow. deal coming. Man, listen. You know what I'm saying? That'd be tight. We, we TV. We thought Joe Bud was about to go down. We thought we had a, a lane for a second. Hey, they he, about the same thing. Yeah, yeah, he was like, Damn. nah, it's really me. Fuck yeah, that. yeah. Damn. That's crazy. But now I'm, I don't know, bro. I feel like I go, they ain't really never changed. We still trying to, I feel like a radio show would be great. TV's cold. We saw what happened to Jesus and Miro. That kind of shit got watered yeah, down a little bit. Got they got real watered down. Yeah, they got paid though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did get paid. Big the bad dream price. came true for sure, but the yeah. content, you know, kind of suffered. But man, trying to just bring more awareness to the show. Yeah, you know, what I mean, get more people to listen to the show and really start to becoming that nasty recognized. You know, what I mean, podcast uh, where everybody's familiar. 
Everybody loves the the, the the co-host and continue to expand the brand that way. What if somebody said, y'all, right now, we'll cash you out and get you on a national platform, but we got to have some say in what y'all got going on? He's selling it. He's he's he's, he's giving it uh, up. It's, it, 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 <laughs> he's it, giving it, it up. It, it depends on, it, like, for example, I mean, since we here and Hollis yeah. asked. What kind of money are we talking? I'm talking about, let's say a million deal. dollars right now. <laughs> I think about that Spotify deal a lot. That $150 yeah. million that Joe turned down, and I appreciate his yeah. entrepreneurship. Hey, bro, nah, and I appreciate that. his freedom. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. Man. Does Spotify do that today? Nah. Bro, sign me up. Bro, I'll sell I my know, shit for bro. a million right now. Sign me up. That's the whole point of creating businesses. <laughs> Gone. Uh, give me a million cash right yeah, now. I'm selling. Sign me up. We can make it happen. So yeah, That's the whole point. So I know it's your baby and all, but shit. That's you what you built so it for. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you built it for to get rid of yeah. it. They really offered him yeah. 150 and he turned it down. 150 million, bro. And, and Joe was like, I'm good. He turned it I down. Think, I think it, my, my fault. Yeah, I'm saying that wrong. I know that Rogan got offered 150 million. No, Rogan got 150. I don't think they gave Joe Budden 150. Joe wanted something to buy a number of that. Joe thought. Joe thought his valuation was as high as Rogan's was, pretty much. Uh, yeah. it, it, I mean, potentially it will be, but Joe yeah. Rogan got so many more years of content. It's like... Yeah. It's a different nah. demo, too. It's yeah. a different you, you can never kill the demo. Well. demo different. There's yeah. always going to be more white people than black people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. there's numbers. Always. Yeah. But for Joe, in that situation, it's like, can you? what can you do to make that amount of money or triple or double it with that platform with, within the time frame and time span that y'all had? You know oh, what I'm no. saying? He took, I mean, I guess they get money on Patreon now, which is cool. Which is cool. He could have got that bag anyway, right. and I still would have sold. Yeah, man, you know live shows. Who and knows he, the deal? He was, was probably but. okay with take, with denying it because he obviously got more money than Maul and Rory. Duh. And that's what we were saying. We come from different that's places. That's why they were yeah. shitty. Yeah, I'd right. be shitty too. Cause you, I mean, you the boss, but hey, we we got you got to tell me where we going on this I'm ride, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got to tell. Like, like you can't tell me it's millions being thrown around. And you just the only person that say no. Yeah. Like we got to be on the same page yeah. about this. We joked about it. it'd be real sad, but when we got to do the pregame podcast without Lloyd, like this is we're gonna have to be that day. Like, <laughs> like what would do y'all like? We'll that, find man. a new A mic. We have to do it. Cause I'm, we gonna like have to sell, day. bro. I'm gonna be like Nick Conte, hey Bonaparte. Mm-hmm. I'm we got a, we got a hundred million for you for this podcast. I'm like, hey, man, nigga, I'm, I'm talk to you. I've been talking to you for free my whole life. Let's yeah, get it. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Give me this hundred, yeah. we out of here. You know, and man, I'm an entrepreneur, <laughs> entrepreneur, nigga. I take something and build it from zero up. But the the goal of business is to sell. Yeah, they man. can still do the same shit they was doing, just refurbished it, built it around another type of situation, yep. and had that same freedom. Fuck yeah. that. He wants to be a martyr. And we don't. Yeah, bro. Nah, I don't care. Yeah. A million dollars is, not, a, is not no little baby. It's a life changing it's a amount of money. A lot of money. And they was getting offered multi millions. Yeah. Multi millions. And he like, was like, bro, no, you got to take that, bro. For a, for a day's worth of work. Bro, day's just work. to talk. Twice, twice a week. Just yeah. to talk. Yeah. Okay. To be funny a little bit. And I ain't saying he can't get on his own. I know how hard it is. I mean, he know how hard it is when you got to pull out your own pocket. You putting all the shit together on your on the strength of you. You ain't got all the necessary resources to make the shit work. That's cool, but somebody want to buy that shit, and you get to still do it, and you can always just license it for a certain number of years and say, all right, now that I got this information, I can come and go get more, and I'm nothing. You definitely got to make sure the dogs eat, too. Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, I'm sure Rory and Miles in the yeah. corner like, I'd have to take that nigga life <laughs> You million. ain't even you asked me, pump nigga. it up in this moment. Yeah, it's game time. We definitely yeah. fine. Uh, I hunted, bro, and you can, he, when they said oh, Triller top. called, he, they asked him how much, and he hung up. <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> what? We, 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 we what they say? At least take the call. At least talk to these Yeah, we don't sure. have to have a meme. Like, no, nah, because at this point, you, like, not even negotiating in good faith. Like, you fucking yeah, up yeah, my you life. Right. right. Yeah. All right. Now, we understand. We, we, at least send me a text. We definitely, we're definitely having a conversation at any at any. For monetary sure. amount at this point but in my Joe life. Call, if Joe called me, I'm picking up. Yeah, if he called y'all and said, hey, I want to fuck with y'all, put y'all on my platform, I'm sure y'all should definitely answer. Yeah. 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 That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Definitely. for sure. But can we stay here? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Definitely. Yeah. yeah for sure. But yeah, yeah no, that indeed. nigga's wilding. I hope it all work out for him. But it might. It might end up benefiting us in the long run. So he can, take, he can catch that deal for us. I appreciate it. For sure, man. They said Patreon value that four billion now. So. They did. We ain't, we only we only put a little bit in that. We yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was gonna go to OnlyFans route. They could have, like, they yeah, want to. Shit, they gonna go OnlyFans and run it up like that. But that's the same concept. Yeah, same thing. Damn. So OnlyFans got that, you know, what I mean, that TV MA X rated shit attached to it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Triple X Makes at all different. times. Indeed. First the fat boys break up now. This man for sure. Only um, f- you have you got doing taxes for the OnlyFans girls. I have. And tight. I'm gonna be honest. I can tell you, <laughs> he bro, said tight. Bro, the little chick. You know, what I'm saying she was like 19, 20. Mm. She hadn't done her taxes in two years. She was Ooh, trying to buy a house. They'll come see her. Hold on. Hold on. I'm about to tell you how cold she was with it. So she was making six figures on OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? Like 250 up. You mm. feel me? Damn. Two consecutive years. She's so I do her taxes. We put everything together. She owe 
60, 70,000 in taxes. She's like, all right, where are I send the money? <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> She's like, no, nah, I'm about to buy this cat, this buy this house right now, cash, and we done with all this shit. She's like, where are I send the money, pay these taxes to be done with this shit? I'm Damn. Like, oh my God. Yeah, like, they are here. Not even 21. Little chick. Crazy. Yeah, Good she, for her. She That's hit crazy. me up like, I hope, uh, this is what I do. Too, do you got a problem? I don't got like, no fuck with right. you. Right. Your money like, falls too, baby. We good. Hey, shit. You good money. I need to reach out to her right yeah, now. Actually, I need to help. Shit. Right. Now the OnlyFans get the grind. Ain't, I mean, I, I, bro, that's it. There's definitely two sides to it. There's yeah. people that are not making twenty three thousand dollars on OnlyFans. At all. Uh, and they, no, no. they be having to evaluate their body. Yeah, and they be finding out time, that they right. overvaluated their body, and they be having to like bring the price down. Bro, it's tough. Bro, bro. there's so many different ways that you get cheated out of that stuff too. So you got to think about from a platform from like Pornhub is like YouTube. Mm -hmm. So if you put videos on there, you, they go by stream. So say like if I go to any other girl that got a fans only and just record what they got, and I could just put that on Pornhub. Yeah. They's mad about that. That money yeah. just like that. So you're losing more money now because yeah, yeah. I don't have to go to your page. I can just go to here. Then they say they're going to sue you for that. And they not. They not. They're but not. they come out the gate like, yeah, my only fans are worth 20 that first week go by, two subscribers, like, damn, I guess I'm not worth $20. Yeah, Let me it might be worth 10 Take that down to 10 see how that goes. Oh, yeah. I'm not worth 10 either. Okay, how's five sound? 10 is a very reasonable, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is a very reasonable Negotiate price. Negotiate with it. That's <laughs> tough to feel like that about your, about your person. Yeah, like, yeah. God damn. It's a very reasonable price. Only fans usually pay $10 for Netflix and get a bunch of different shows. If I'm paying $10 just for you and only getting one show of you whenever you feel like posting. <laughs> <laughs> you actually, yeah, you you actually get those. Because I'll cop one. i cop maybe one. Yeah, ain't no wrong I'm with copying. i more than a month. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's more than 10, I, I I struggle. It had to be like, I had to know you got heat on there. You, you know, know what I'm like saying? <laughs> <laughs> but they, be, they be like, here's my OnlyFans link. It's $25. He'd be like, three pictures and one video. Fuck you. I'm not buying that. Oh, right. That's what <laughs> I mean. I'm with never. But the thing is, and, then you, you, and sometimes you buy it and it'd be the Instagram. I got one. It was Instagram pictures. I said, oh, this is Got you. Yeah. Gang you. Did they be hitting you with the DMs like for 25 more dollars? Yeah, you, you get, get this private video. You get this two but, minute video. But yeah. wait, no. there's more. Yeah. Yeah. Order now. They really Send you my clearance. It's trapping. Yeah, it's trapping. It's a, it's a hustle for sure. So yeah. I respect it. money, it's just... That's real, man. <laughs> nah, they be man. trying to. It's it's some sucker niggas that they're getting. I'm not a sucker. Well, twenty three thousand dollars a year. There's yeah, a lot she's, of niggas she's out winning. there. Yeah, she's yeah. doing fine her for herself. Probably. You could point her out to me. Or, no, I, I, I really don't know what she looked like. Bro, I never. The way she reached out, it is. It is. The way she reached out to me was like some like shit. His, he. Bro, she reached out to me like on a whole secret Instagram. I thought it was like some some, some bullshit. Damn, and she was like, nah, my, she was like, nah, my realtor finna call you and clear everything oh, up. Okay. So then her realtor called me. I was like, okay. Like, yeah, she got a team. But she ain't want me to know what she looked like. And I'm like, I'm not interested. I'm just here to do business, baby. You came right. to me. You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right. I ain't never clicked on your OnlyFans. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. I don't That's know who right. you is. Good for them. Yeah, nah, she killing mm. it. That's Salute. Like, for sure. Salute. Not all of them. Well, shit, man, let's give another round of applause for uh, Hollis and Denver coming through. Yes, talking about sir. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Sure next, mm -hmm. what's it, two Fridays away? For yeah. sure, man. 420. Let me send y'all some pictures so y'all can post two it. Two Fridays. It's not two Fridays at all. It's damn near next Friday. It's damn near next Friday. We're going to be ready, bro. Trust gotcha. me. Yeah. For sure, man. Next Friday. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all be safe. All right, man. Y'all black next. brothers keep winning, man. Next. <laughs>